Hey, hey guys, Uri Geller here. Actually, that's a joke. Uri Geller's not here. However, it does provide for a very interesting video and away from the monotony of the usual card trick or magic tutorial. However, if you guys do like card tricks or magic tutorials, you should totally subscribe. So today what I offer is a little bit of a profile piece on Uri Geller and a look into his illustrious career and life. I plan to do a couple of these profile pieces, so make sure to uh, hit the button that notifies you when Piggy comes out for a video so you could be notified. So without further ado, we should get right into the profile piece. So um, one of those vlogger transitions. Uri Geller got his start in his entertainment career as a nightclub worker during the early 70s. In short time, he was able to reach quite the audience with his apparent abilities to display many aspects of psychic phenomena such as psychokinesis, telepathy, as well as having an affinity for bending spoons. He made the bold claim during television appearances that his abilities were able to be scrutinized under the watchful scientific eye. He cited his time at the Stanford Research Institute where in 1973, he was able to produce his psychic phenomena for actual parapsychologists. This attention got him under the radar of fellow beard enthusiast James Randi, who made the claim that Uri's feats were done by natural causes and not the supernatural abilities he claimed to have. One of his more notorious television appearances was on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, where Johnny had previously contacted Randi to make sure that Geller had no idea that he was going to be asked to perform his feats. Also, to ensure that Geller had no access to any of the props beforehand as to eliminate any possibility of cheating. And I'd like you to take your own pace when you feel like you want to try anything. Right. Do you want to try that particular uh, experiment first? When I'll feel free. When okay? you can? Sure. We'll start eliminating the ones that do not have the water. All no, right, without touching them. He is really suspicious, you know. <laughs> These precautionary measures ensured that Geller had what had to be the cringiest 10 minutes ever displayed on television. Geller was unable to bend spoons, locate water hidden in opaque containers, as well as duplicate drawings done completely out of sight. Conversely, this television appearance had the opposite effect on Geller's career. Because of his apparent failure, it brought a human aspect to his personality and added more credence to his abilities being real because if they were magic tricks, they wouldn't fail. For most of his career, Geller was involved in fighting lawsuits against anybody who questioned his abilities in a public forum. Randy was one of the more prolific cases where he had several instances of lawsuits done against him and his mighty beard. His most egregious lawsuit came at the expense of millions of weebs all around the world as he went against Nintendo in the year 2000. What he claimed was that the Pokemon Kadabra was an unauthorized appropriation of his identity. He claimed that Kadabra was obviously made to poke fun at him because he had psychic powers and can bend spoons. Geller also went as far as noting that the lightning patterns on Kadabra were an obvious allusion to Nazi Germany, Geller of course being Jewish, taking great offense to Nintendo for making a Nazi psychic Pokemon. The BBC also had a hand on the Geller race as during a documentary about his life they were able to capture Uri on hidden camera, physically bending spoons as well as peeking at a participant's drawing. This of course going against the supernatural methods that Geller claimed to be using. As early as 2008 during an interview with Magisch Welt, Germany's longest running independent magic magazine, Geller claimed, I will no longer say I have supernatural powers. I am an entertainer. I want to do a good show. My entire character has changed. James Randi made a response to Geller, apparently coming out of the hypothetical magic closet, stating that his reversal doesn't mean jack shit. He wasted people's time, effort, and money with his initial claims, and his change of heart should have no effect on people's perception of him as a fake phony. This being paraphrased, of course. All in all, Geller has had a very prolific life in the limelight. Personally, while I think Geller is a big fat phony, his life and story does provide for a very interesting profile piece and a look into society's necessity for something beyond our day-to-day -day monotonous lives. To conclude, I have to say, Geller, please don't sue me, dog. Come on, I don't got a lot of money. As a matter of fact, you should totally check out my Patreon. I have a card academy there where I take you from a beginner magician all the way to an expert. So you should check the description for more information.